Hey there, and welcome to another fetch wallet tutorial. In today's video, we'll be going over how to bridge your FET between the Ethereum network and the FetchAI native network. First, let's start with how to get from Ethereum to FetchAI. To get started with this, make sure that on your fetch wallet, you're set to the Ethereum network and that you have more than 100 ERC20 FET showing in your wallet. Just so you can see as well what our balance currently is in our FetchAI mainnet address, We've got 125 FET to start, so after bridging, we should have 225 FET. But let's go back and get started. First, click on the Bridge FET button. In the field shown here, you can see your native Fetch AI address has already been autofilled, and now you just need to fill out how much FET you want to bridge keeping in mind that there is a minimum of 100 FET to be able to bridge. Once filled out, select Next. The first transaction that you need to sign is to allow the bridge contact to spend the FET that you've filled in. You can see that the gas fees for this transaction are listed here, which we're going to choose high for this tutorial just so that it happens more quickly, but you can select any of them that you would like. Then once the gas is selected, we click Next, scroll down, and hit Approve, and wait for that transaction to be approved. Once approved, you'll then click Next again, and sign the final transaction, which this one is to allow the bridge contract to send your FET to your native address on the other side. Once again, for speed, we'll be selecting High Gas Fee, and then click Next. I then scroll down to the bottom, and hit Approve. Now we just wait for the bridging to be completed, which depending on the type of gas that we used will take different amounts of time to complete, depending on whether or not the Ethereum network is congested. Once the bridging was successful, you can now see that the FET tokens are no longer visible on our Ethereum address. So let's change network to the FetchAI network, and now we can see the aforementioned 225 FET on our native address, where we originally had started with 125 there. Now that we've shown you how to bridge your FET from Ethereum to the FetchAI network, let's show you how to bridge from the FetchAI network back to Ethereum. First, you're going to make sure that your network is set to the FetchAI network. Then, you're going to select Bridge FET. Then click on the Ethereum address that is connected to your wallet so that it autofills as the recipient address. Now scroll down and fill out how much FET you would like to bridge to Ethereum, keeping in mind once again that there is a minimum of 100 FET. There is also a 50 FET fee though that is required for bridging back to Ethereum. Once you've decided how much FET you're going to bridge over, scroll down to the bottom and select the gas fee. Then click Next and approve the transaction. Now, you are just waiting for the bridging transaction to be complete. Once successful, you may still need to wait a bit of time for your funds to display on the Ethereum network, once again dependent on how congested the network is at that time. But once they do arrive, you can switch back to the Ethereum network where you should be able to see your FET. That should cover everything for our fetch bridging tutorial today. Thank you so much for watching, and let us know in the comments down below if you happen to have any questions. And we'll be sure to get back to you promptly. Thank you.